Hi, my name is Sachin Sharma, and I work inside VMware's End User Computing Business Unit as a Product Marketing Manager. I'm excited to take you through a technical overview of Horizon 6 today. I'll first walk us through some of the key themes that we've developed in Horizon 6. The major themes in this release include our Cloud Pod architecture, RDS hosted applications, Virtual SAN, or also known as vSAN, our application catalog, VC Ops for Horizon 6, as well as some Mirage enhancements. Let's dig a little bit deeper into each of these. First, let's talk about the Cloud Pod architecture. This architecture allows you to scale your Horizon deployments across multiple data centers and over 10,000 sessions, something that was a previous limitation of the product. This scalability allows for geo roaming users as well as active, active, and DR use cases that were also previously unavailable. You now have the ability to have the data layer replicated across Horizon Connection servers, as well as a single namespace for end users with a global URL, allowing them to roam freely and connect to whichever server is closest. This is a huge benefit for customers that have multiple data centers and roaming users as well as customers concerned with the DR use case in making sure they have an active, active data center configuration. Horizon desktops and apps in RDS hosted format. This is another major feature in Horizon 6 that is likely to excite our customers. This gives you the ability to do application remoting or otherwise presenting an application to a user instead of a desktop. A lower TCO is realized with a classic terminal services model and gives customers favorable licensing from Microsoft, something that customers typically have in-house already. With the advent of Windows Server 2012 R2, APIs have been introduced and made easy to interoperate with. We feel at VMware like this is the time for us to get into this space, not only due to customer demand, but also the availability of the technology with which we integrate to do this in a seamless fashion. This will provide that application remoting experience not only to Windows desktops, but also the other clients that people have on their networks, such as Mac, iOS, and Android. Not only will you be able to remote the app, but we'll be able to take advantage of the investment we've put into our protocol for this type of work, which is PC over IP. vSAN for Horizon Desktops. In this version, will be something we'll be able to leverage in our desktop environment. This will allow customers to take advantage of the vSAN architecture, which is centered around providing a lower TCO model using current vSphere storage primarily in the form of SSDs, as well as your traditional spinning disks. Customers can take advantage of this through View 2. No longer will you have to configure your storage independently for View. This is something that we've automated through vSphere and made sure that multiple groups at VMware working on this work together to give you the best possible experience in your environment. Some of the benefits you'll receive from this are reducing CapEx costs of VDI and simplifying use. Being able to define that this is a VDI workload in vSAN, select that and integrate that with your desktops will be a very large benefit for our customers who traditionally have had to figure out all that, the different IOPS that are going to be required and what each particular disk is providing in order to properly construct their environment. This helps in that you probably don't have to purchase new products in storage. The unified workspace was another large investment in Horizon 6. This was known as Horizon Workspace, but now has been integrated into our Horizon 6 platform. The unified workspace allows the end user to be able to see all of their applications and desktops from one place. It's one logon and one experience from any device. This is the front end for interacting with Horizon 6. Not only do you find things that you traditionally found in Horizon Workspace, such as SaaS applications and local apps such as thin apps, but you'll also now find new apps through our Citrix Zen app integration, as well as Horizon Remote app integration, or 
RDSH apps. This allows you to extend out and provide that single pane of glass that all of your users want. You'll also find all of your desktops in here that are in your Horizon 6 View platform. VC Ops for Horizon 6. In this release, there is integration between VC Ops and Horizon 6. Some of the highlights here are an integrated console for all VC Ops environments from the desktop to the server, etc. This allows for great granular point of view of end user clients in Horizon 6. For example, we can monitor the infrastructure that Horizon is running on. Proactive analysis of your environment helps you monitor and quickly remediate. RDSH session support in Horizon 6 is supported through VC Ops. Mirage with Horizon Desktops. In the past, Mirage was focused on physical PC management. With Mirage, IT could perform OS migrations, backup, and restore, all along with hardware migration. With Horizon 6, we're introducing the ability to manage physical desktops and virtual desktops. IT can use the same images to apply to both physical and virtual desktops. View local mode is end of life in Horizon 6, replacing that with Mirage capabilities such as managing Horizon desktop images with Fusion Pro and Player Plus provision through Mirage. With Mirage, you can update images without wiping out user installed apps and data. We've put in a number of improvements to minimize performance impact of Mirage operations in virtual desktop environments. This has been a brief video taking you through the key themes and features of Horizon 6. I'm sure you want more information, which you can find at vmware.com in the Horizon 6 product page. I encourage you to go there to learn more about this product. Thank you.